The Deion Sanders mania is real out here. So real that I had to go and buy a Colorado jersey. Yes, I did it. Okay. I did it before the season started. But once I knew Deion was going to be the coach at Colorado, because I couldn't tell you who played at Colorado last year. All I knew was Deion Sanders was going to be the head coach there. And I was like, I got to support Prime. He he was trending on social media, trending on Twitter. I opened up my Facebook. Everybody's talking about Deion Sanders while the game was playing yesterday. Went to church this morning and I had on my jersey and everyone was stopping me saying, I know you weren't a Colorado fan last year. No, I wasn't. OK, I wasn't. But again, I'm supporting Prime <laughs> and, jer- and the jerseys are pretty cool, too. I think they got some gold ones. But anyway. I wanted to record this video because I wanted to talk to you about why people love Deion Sanders and why so many people are supporting him. Here's the three reasons why people love Deion Sanders. I'm going to give you number three first, and then I'll let you know at the end of the video, the number one reason why I believe people love Deion Sanders. Now, I've been a longtime fan of NFL football. Two people, well, one of them was basketball and one of them was football, but let me explain. There was two people I could not stand in sports, okay? One of them was Kobe Bryant, and the reason why I'm saying that, because Kobe was so great that I just knew Kobe was going to do whatever he wanted to, and it bothered me. That's just how great he was. And the other athlete I couldn't stand was Deion Sanders, (laughs) because he was so great at his position and he was able to brag about it and do it in fashion. Right. So those were two athletes that I couldn't stand, but granted I was young back then and I see their greatness now. Um, Love them. So number three, why people love Deion Sanders, his gift made room for him. And let me explain this. I believe that Deion Sanders, since he was the greatest shut down cornerback of all time. I mean, he's the greatest at his position, right? He would literally lock up your favorite receiver, take away one whole side of the football field. Okay. Well, let me, let me get away from that. Okay. I don't want to talk too much about football terms, but his gift made room for him. So in a football world, a lot of people knew that Deion Sanders was great. So he used his gift. And of course he's an NFL hall of famer to use his platform to inspire others. Now, I think that's something that's worth talking about because there's a lot of people, and I want to use this in a practical sense. His gift made so much room for him that he was able to inspire the young men that he encountered all the way. And and a lot of people say Dion has been like this, basically like his whole adult career. But from Jackson State and seeing that people really didn't give him a chance back then and to see where he is now is amazing. And to see all the lives that he's impacted just from the time that he got to coach until today. So my question to you is, what are you great at? What is your gifts and talents? And are you using those gifts and talents to impact others? Or are you using it just because you want to flex on the gram? You want to show everybody how amazing you are. And again, that's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with that, that if that's what you want to do, but I'm looking at generationally, how are you impacting others with your gifts and talents for whatever it is, whatever your gift and talent is, use it to help others. And I believe that's one way we really build a legacy is through the people that we impact. Number two reason why people love Deion Sanders. It's the confidence. There's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Let me give you the definition of confidence. Confident at, confidence is defined as the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something else and having a firm trust. Dion was so confident that he could back it up on the football field. I believe that's the difference between confidence and arrogance. And I believe Deion Sanders is secure in who he is as a person. Now, I don't know him personally, right? But just following him throughout his career, I can always see that confidence. And granted, you can say, yeah, the cameras was on and stuff like that. But that's how I've always seen him. 
I've always seen now, of course, I thought he was arrogant at times, but because I was younger, but seeing him now as a full grown man and the way he impact others through his confidence, it's contagious. And through his confidence, it goes to the younger men that he coach. He teach them how to be victorious. He when he talks to the young men, he talks to them in a sense like you've already won. He really don't use a lot of ifs and maybes or should like he doesn't really use those words. It's when we win or when you pass that test or when you are happily married, just like different things that I hear him say, it automatically transfers to the person that he's talking to and he start to build that person up. And I realized that confidence is contagious. Have you ever been around just a confident person, especially if they're going to like give you that kind of energy like they believe in you too that's Deion Sanders I once heard Deion talk about his dad or I, I think it might have been his stepdad maybe I think it was a stepdad but he talked about how his dad always showed up for work every day he was consistent and he said he taught Deion hard work and that hard work pays off and obviously, you can tell throughout his NFL career and in his coaching career that hard work does pay off. And I believe through hard work, you gain confidence. I was recording a show not too long ago, and we were talking about confidence. And I once heard a therapist say, you build confidence by following through what you tell yourself. So if you tell yourself, I'm going to start exercising two days a week. You tell yourself that, follow through. You tell yourself you're you're not going to cheat on your spouse. And I'm just using these as, a, as an example. Follow through. Don't do it. There's a lot of things that we always tell ourselves what we're going to do. The, the, the question is, are you actually going to follow through? And that's how you build confidence. By telling yourself, now, don't get me wrong. We all make mistakes. You know, a lot of times we drop the ball. Life is real. I get it. But for the most part, the things that you tell yourself, do you actually follow through? And that's how you build confidence. The number one reason why people love Deion Sanders is his faith. Now, I know this can be controversial because when we talk about faith and, and, and things of that nature, I know the, the water can get a little muddy, but this is something that I believe. And even just seeing this as I use this as a poll on social media and people talked about the reason people love Dion is because of his faith. He talked about his relationship with God and being a Christian like you can hear it in his messages and when he's talking to other people, when you see him uh, in public, he makes the public declaration of being a Christian. And you can see it by the way he treats others, by the way he treats the students and, and those who he's been entrusted with, whether if it's his coaching staff or the young man that he's coaching. You can see that faith by the way he treats others. Now, to the carnal world, of course, faith and victory goes hand in hand because Dion is a proven winner. He's a Super Bowl champion. He's a two sport athlete, all these different things. He's a proven winner. But to the carnal world, it like goes hand in hand. But we know as believers, because as myself, I'm a believer as well, is that we know that there's so much more that goes on behind the scenes when you are a believer and the things that you need to do and the, and the personal faith that it takes to actually live this thing out, right, as a Christian man. So I get it. But Dion is a proven winner and it looks good on camera. When you are a professing Christian and everything is going in your favor, people love winners. So my question to you is, what do you believe in? Do you believe that there's someone bigger than you out here in the world? What is your faith? What do you believe in? And we all have our own personal journeys. And I'm not the one to judge. Whatever you believe in is what you believe in. But I believe for me in my personal life that that's Another reason why I'm a fan of Dion as well is because of his faith. And I believe we need to see more Christians openly express their faith and to actually live it out because people are watching and people will judge. And granted, we can't please everybody. Dion Sanders is human, just like the rest of us. But I do believe his faith maybe even encourages those 
who see what he does on the field and off the field. Hey, thanks again for watching another segment of It's Scary to Remarry. I have so much more amazing content and some phenomenal guests as well. People who've been through a divorce, people who remarry, people who desire to marry. So much great content. So make sure that you hit one of these videos. It's somewhere around here. But anyway, go watch another video.